Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I feel like I owe you guys like an explanation as to why I've been gone for all of these weeks. So basically life. Life caught up with me. School caught up with me. Um, before, you know, like the first week or two of school is not that, mm, it's not as hard, you know, it's still like introductory kind of thing, but it started to pick up. So I am extremely sorry for my absence. I just want to let you guys know that. But I had like so many assignments due. I had some tests due. I have two online classes that I have to keep up with. So, you know, I just had a lot of schoolwork to do. Today's video is going to be a collective beauty haul. I have some hair care products, um, some vitamins, some makeup products. And I also have my Ipsy bag video. Um, I have my Ipsy bag for the month of December. January and February. I'm going to include December in this haul just because the OCD and me will not let me skip December and then go to February. So I'm just going to include December in this video. I'll make a January video, a February video, and then I'll be done with Ipsy. Um, and I'll be done with Ipsy. I realize that you guys don't really care for the Ipsy bag videos. So that will be my last, my February Ipsy bag will be my last Ipsy bag video. So let's go ahead and get into this video because I have quite a bit of products. So I did already film my December Ipsy bag video, but I thought that I unsubscribed in December. So um, I filmed the video on my laptop and I didn't really like the way it came out. So I was like, well, that was my last one anyway. So I, I never uploaded it, but I got two more. So here is what the December bag looks like. It's a red quilted bag. I'm going to go through the products really quickly. I got this Pacifica lipstick in the color Sweet One. And the packaging is really cute. I did try to use this, but it's not creamy. It like tugs on your lips, so I don't really like it that much. But it looks like this. And this is the color. It's a really nice color, but... I just don't like the formula of the lipstick. Next thing that I have is this Brio Geo Curl Charisma. This is a leave-in defining cream and I haven't used this yet. So that's what that use looks like. I typically don't use the hair products that come in my Ipsy bag to be honest. This is the Jersey Shore Spa Anti-Aging Lip and Hand Polish. And this is what this looks like. I get a lot of moisturizing hand products in my Ipsy bag, I realize that. Um, the next thing that I got is a crown brush. This is a brow duo. It has a spoolie end on one side and a angled side. So, obviously you can get lots of use out of that. And the last thing that I have is this Peony Shadow Trio. And I think this is a really nice trio because it has like a brown bone color over here then it has a shade that you can use in your crease right here and then a lid color oh so yeah that is it for my december ipsy bag the first thing that i got is this what is this this blow dry attachment from sally's this is a golden hot and i got this for about 12.99 with your members card at sally's and i got this because i don't like to deep condition my hair for hours that's normally what i do but i feel like this not only cuts the um, the deep conditioning time in half, but it also helps the conditioner to actually penetrate your hair strands. So you don't have to get this if you don't want to. I think it's inexpensive and it's better than like actually holding the blow dryer over your hair. Or if you can't like afford a hooded dryer, because I'm pretty sure a hooded dryer is way more than like 12, 13 bucks. This is a great alternative. So I picked this up from Sally's. I also got this one and only argan oil hair color um, in the color 1N, which is very black. And I got this just because I don't like my brown hair. I feel like black hair looks a lot more sleek and healthy, so I picked this up from Sally's. And that was like $5.69. I believe that was $5.69. And the last thing that I got from Sally's is this one and only argan oil hair color um, cream developer. And I just got 10 volume developer because I'm not going lighter. I'm actually going darker. So I didn't really need my hair to be lifted. So I got this and this was $2.69 with your Sally's member card. So the next set of products that I got, I got these from Burlington Coat Factory. I know that you can get Joy Coat also from like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and those kind of chain stores. But this is the Joy Coat K-Pack Reconstruct Shampoo and Conditioner just because I knew 
that I was taking my hair out soon from that last style and um and what and I wanted something a bit more like heavy duty than like my normal suave shampoo and conditioner so I picked this up Oops. I also got some products from Walgreens I got this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intense Hydration Hair Mask and I already use this I only use it once so I can't give like a thorough review on it but after I use it a couple times if you guys want to know how I like it I will do that for you but I just got this and this is the deep conditioner that I have been using and I also got this this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner and this has Shea Butter, Peppermint and Keratin and um, I will use this on my curly hair if you're not um, like I use it on my hair right now once I blow dry my hair and then I put this on my hair it makes my hair curly again so I don't recommend this for straight hair but I do recommend this for curly hair I got the nature's bounty hair skin and nails gummies and this is the one with biotin the strawberry flavor and I also got the women's multivitamins and this is the raspberry flavor with collagen so I picked up the both of these. I did pick this up in like August. I can't I can't give like a thorough review on it just because I wasn't taking them like I was supposed to. Like I took it for a week and then I stopped for like three days and I took it for five days and I stopped for like six days. So I can't give a thorough review on it. But I will start these soon and if you guys want to know um if they work or not, I'll let you guys know. The last set of products I got are from Sephora. Actually, I got two from Sephora and two from Macy's. Yeah, Macy's. So, I'm going to start off with the Kat Von D product. Well, definitely not Kat Von D. The two Kat Von D products I got. Um, this one is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. And I wanted this basically since it came out like two years ago, maybe three years ago. I could never find it. I always go to Sephora and they were always out of stock. Why did I don't? I didn't want to order it online because I didn't want to spend like $50 and to get free shipping. So I was just like, I'll just find it in stores. And I never found it in stores until recently. Um, and there was like only two left. So. These things are like always sold out, but I finally got my hands on it and I'm actually wearing it today. Um, I'll talk about my lip combo like at the end of the video. But yeah, I finally got my hands on Lolita. The next product that I have is this concealer. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the color Deep 36. Now the reason I got this is because I want to try to start like highlighting. I haven't done that yet. But I can't find, I, I have tons, uh, actually I'll show you guys. I have like tons of the LA Girl Pro Conceals, but none of these things look great on me. Like I can't find one that I actually like. So I just bit the bullet and I bought the Kat Von D one just because, first of all, anything that Kelsey and Kendra recommend, I'm going to go buy. So, um... Kendra, she uses this one on her under eye and it gives like a natural highlight just because it's closer to your skin tone so it doesn't give you like that cakey like super bright under eye highlighted look and I like that. I don't like the super bright. I like the more natural kind of look. So I picked this up and I believe this was actually I think the receipt is in here. I know the lipstick was like 20 so the lipstick was 20 and the, the concealer was 25 I don't think this, it's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. The last two products that I have are from MAC and the first one is this lip liner in Chestnut and this is like a OD but a goodie, this is like a holy grail, this is a staple lip liner that every brown skin girl needs. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about chestnut. It's just like a really... Oh, I didn't even show you guys what Lolita and the other thing looks like. So, sorry it's a little dirty because I used it today. So, that is chestnut. I also got a plush glass. This is my first plush glass. I do have a... I have a dazzle glass, but I don't have a plush glass. So, I got this and this is in the color Power Supply. 
If you are wondering about my lip combo, I line my lips and I fill them completely in with the chestnut lip liner. I use the Kat Von D Lolita liquid lipstick over top of that. But I really want like a dark lip. I want it to be a bit more pinky. So I just went over it with the ColourPop um, Ultra Matte Lipstick in the color Bumble. That is everything that I have picked up recently. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I'm sorry that I haven't been putting out videos, but I'm not a one-hit wonder, okay? I have more videos coming soon for you guys, so stay tuned. Um, I appreciate it, and, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.